Jennifer asks, what is the easiest way to get my class recording to a stream inside my team? I'm setting up five classes today and there's a lot of talk about this that's overwhelming. Can someone guide me to something specific? I'm the admin of my domain. Uh, oh, she's a master of her domain. I'm the admin of my domain as a virtual homeschool math teacher. Uh, we use Microsoft 365 for education. Well, I threw mine in that for the, I'm kind of passionate about learning pathways. It's really easy to create um, like learning paths and within learning that are custom within learning pathways. And then you can put those on a page and with a, with a filter and it will show just those items on the page and then share that within a, a Teams page. That's one option. And the only reason I'm bringing that up is because she says she's a, a admin of her domain. You have to be a global admin in order to deploy um, learning pathways. Mm. Uh, but that that was a one option. Looks like Sharon's got another one. That's the best option. But but if you'd <laughs> also like to know if you make a channel meeting, so inside of a team, if you actually go into the channel and make a channel meeting. And especially um, you could choose to in the, the meeting settings, you can have it automatically record. So you don't even have to hit start and stop. Um, when the meeting starts, it'll automatically record. When the recording is finished, it will automatically be stored in the files for that team. Um, I've done that for several clients now because they've got multiple recordings going on and they don't want somebody to have to worry about where it goes, who's recording it, who's keeping track of it. Um, and that works out really, really well. Um, the only thing, the only downside I found is that it's still, I mean, it stores it in SharePoint. Um, and so if you want it to be in stream, that's another step that you'll then have to take afterwards, but at least you know where they live. You were going to have to do that extra step anyway. Yeah. So. It used to record and stream automatically, and that's my right. irritation. It's like, yes. I wish it was a switch and not some PowerShell script that I can't seem to get to work, um, which was, you know, if it was for a group. It was recorded in the group stream channel. Thank you. Why? Why? <laughs> Right. Yeah, I don't want to download it from my OneDrive and upload it into Stream. I don't. Well, understand. I understand why Microsoft made the change of wanting to centralize all all content and all storage around SharePoint, and so then you have your compliance and security and all those things, you know, streamlined across all those di different assets. But you're right. I mean, there are benefits to having you know Stream and using Stream that way. Um, there should be an option uh, to be able to as part of the setup for that meeting and that recording to be able to direct it. No, even when you create a Zoom meeting, <laughs> that one has a uh, option. Where, where do you want to be? Where do you want the recording to go? Do you want it to go to a local computer or do you want it to go into the cloud storage for your account? Um, that would be lovely, you know, just to have that. Toggle. I feel like there might be some people on this call who could uh, make that recommendation. <laughs> Are you feeling used, Neil? <laughs> it's it's a it's a common ask. It's a popular ask. Let's say.